What's up, bud? It's Rob. This is Apparel Success, and in this video right now, what we're going to be talking about is how at different stages in your clothing brand's life, you're going to have to take different actions and use different strategies. And I want to talk about the different stages that you can work through running your clothing brand and how at each stage, the strategy that you might use to market your clothing brand or plan for your clothing brand will be different and that's okay. Apparel Success is sponsored by my buds over at Design Crowd, and I swear if you need designs for your clothing brand that you should check these guys out. I have a project up on there right now. I use them myself. They're absolutely amazing at creating very specific designs that you're looking for for your clothing brand. And open up a new tab, head over to designcrowd.com forward slash apparel to learn about the $100 VIP offer that I have for you, or simply use the discount code apparel when you post a project on Design Crowd. All right, so depending on where you're at inside of your clothing brand's life, maybe you just started or maybe you're three years in, depending on where you're at, you're going to be needing to take different actions and using different strategies. And there are different levels that you have to go through on your journey as a clothing brand owner to really keep growing and to really keep growing your clothing brand. And when you first start, the actions that you take, the strategies that you're using are going to be different from the ones that you're taking three years in. For example, there are so many people who start up a clothing brand and they think that they need to plan forever. They need to literally create formal business plans about how they're going to be marketing their brand and how they're gonna be you know, selling their brand and what their social media plan is gonna be. And this is something that a lot of new entrepreneurs do because they think that that's what they need to do in order to be successful when really they're just procrastinating taking action, okay? So that first stage that you go through, it should be an action phase. There's this great saying in entrepreneurship, which is in the military, it's ready, aim, fire. But in entrepreneurship, it should be ready, fire, aim. Okay, so literally you just start taking action. And while you're taking action, you sort of change your direction and you change you know, the way that you're going. At the same time, let's say you go a full year just taking action, you've really hustled your business to the point where you've got some data and you're doing some stuff and you're really actually making some sales then you'll reach a point where you really do need to step back and say, where are we gonna go from here? You know, what's the plan moving forward and how are we going to strategize to get to the next level? Because I think that that first stage should always sort of be this action phase that can be entirely based on your own intuition. And then once you get to a certain level and you've really hustled your brain to a certain point, then you'll reach a stage where it's like, okay, I, I need to really think now about how I'm going to get to the next level because what I was doing really worked for me back then, but now I'm kind of hitting my head against the wall because I'm just doing the same things and it's not working. So I need to really think strategically about how I'm going to get to the next level. The exact same thing can be said about the way that you're going about marketing your clothing brand, right? In the first year or so, if you don't have a lot of money to spend on Facebook ads, then that phase for your clothing brand, that stage that you go through that level, could be just you literally going on Instagram and manually engaging with people and going to events and just doing all the one-on-one -on -one engagement type stuff. They call this the two-year slug, which is basically where you're just hustling really hard to try and market your clothing brand. And then let's say, you know, after two years you've done that and you've built up an audience and you know, you actually have some sales, then you may say, you know, what was working for us then really worked for us to get to where we're at now. And maybe now we have a little bit of money to spend on some Facebook ads. And maybe now we should think about a new strategy that we can implement and leverage all of the work that we did before to take us to the next level. Okay, so the, basically where you're at in your clothing brand will determine the types of strategies that you're using. And that's why it's really hard for me to give universal advice when it comes to how to market your clothing brand and how to grow a successful clothing brand because basically where you're at will de determine the types of actions that you need to take. What I think is really important for me to say in this video here is that most people who are watching this video right now, you that I'm talking to, are likely in that first stage. Most of the people that watch my content just based on the people that I've talked to, the people that I've engaged with, and the people that I've met through this YouTube channel, most of you guys are just starting or you're just trying to get the ball rolling with your clothing brand. And this first stage is really a hustle stage for you. And you really need to focus on just really putting in that real effort and spending your own time to build up the brand rather than focusing on scaling too soon because you can't scale anything up if you don't have any data 
to scale from, right? If you don't have any really deep understanding based on data about who's responding to your clothing brand, it is really hard to scale up in a profitable way, okay? So that first stage for a clothing brand is really this hustle phase where you need to spend time engaging manually, spend time you know, going on Instagram and liking and commenting on pictures and finding your target audience and going to events and figuring out who your brand is for. And once you've done that, once you've built up an audience and you have the data to understand exactly who your clothing brand is for, then you can move into the next stage, which is attempting to scale up your brand and remain profitable. I'd like you to write in the comments below which stage you believe that your clothing brand is at right now and drop your brand down there as well because I like to check out the brands that are watching and check out my clothing brand marketing masterclass. It's 100% free to watch. All you have to do to get access is go to apparelsuccess.com slash masterclass and you can watch the whole thing for free. And if you've made it to this point in the video, I wanna tell you about the closed Facebook group that we have going on for apparel success. There's a link in the description. Follow that link, join us in the group. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.